the Jewish agency with responsibility for absorbing new immigrants, for bringing young Jews from the US, Latin America, and the former Soviet Union on Israel experience and Jewish identity programs, and for helping young Israelis, including IDF soldiers, feel part of a global Jewish family. So it's hard to understand why the Jewish agency has given over responsibility for the most impressionable groups of young Jews to a missionary Christian organization. It sounds far-fetched, but take a look at this. Together with the missionary group Return Ministries, the Jewish agency is building a major center for soldiers and new olim in the Galilee. The facts are clear. You don't have to look too far. Return Ministries calls the project the Aliyah Return Center, and it features prominently on the website of the Messianic Network of organizations dedicated to bringing Israeli Jews to faith in Jesus Christ. The facility is called Bikat Kanarot and is managed by Chaim Elspin, a self-proclaimed Messianic Jew and son-in-law of the evangelist leader, Dean Bai. Yeshua came here a few times as well himself, yeah. Jesus, and I know he loved to hang out here. One of the things I really love is when he says, when I rise from the grave, go meet me in the Galilee. And, and this is going to be in my mind forever. You said, I'm just a simple carpenter. And that's what Yeshua was. Strangely enough, it was age 30 when we felt this call to really leave Tel Aviv and to move to the north. And that's when Yeshua started as well. Bikat Kanarot hosts new Olim, lone soldiers, and a pre-army training program. Of IDF forces operating inside Gaza in the recent conflict. Many churches. So many commander of the Airborne Division of the Paratroopers Unit. Tataluf Ramitsu. Some are with the Paratroopers Brigade. We have represented the Special Forces Paratroopers Reconnaissance. We have Elite Commando Unit 101. Elite Commando Unit 890. The Maglan Unit Special Forces. That this has never been the spirit of the true followers of Jesus. I want to let us know tonight. Jesus is not a Christian. He is Jewish. And we follow the Jew Jesus. בפניות לגבי פעילות מיסיונרית שמגיעה אל החיילים בבסיסים, בצמתים מרכזיות, בדרכם של החיילים לבסיסים. פה כבר אנחנו רואים שאת את התחכום. Mailspin boasts that these impressionable young Jews will live together on a daily basis with evangelical volunteers from around the world. That's like putting the cat in charge of the milk. Because we're living with Jewish people there, whether they're the lone soldiers or even those that are training for the army, those nations that are there are getting to live with them. And I, I see that interaction as a, a just a beautiful thing. Here you can see there's lone soldiers. They, are, they don't have a home. They don't have any family here. You can see some pictures of them. You can see the hands, the hands of Yeshua holding the Sea of Galilee. Look at that. Uh, the Christians, they built a big cross here, which they took apart. That's, that's it right there, the two planks. It's two planks? They built a cross? On the other side, I think. That's awesome. I think this is it. No, it's... Day of the Cross. Yeah, yeah. And your name is Moses, like Moses in the Bible. Return Ministries is headed by Canadian evangelist Dean Bai. Therefore, go and make disciples of all nations baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Not far from Bikat Kanarot, Bai and Mailspin have another openly missionary training facility. At Fields of Wheat, as they call it, Bai explains that he seeks to introduce new Olim to Christianity. When they come back to Israel, we want to give them a break. 
those of us from the nations were trying to come alongside them yeah. and say, hey, listen, let us give you a break. Come up to the Galilee, yeah. meet a Christianity with no conditions right. to love you. Right. We'll put you up for free yeah. in one of our restored cabins. We live in the most exciting time uh, yeah. since the resurrection of Jesus Christ. The revival that we believe, according to the words of the prophets, will bring the return of our Messiah, Yeshua, Jesus. Back at Bikat Kanarot, Mailspin has built a Christian worship center for evangelical volunteers. The explicit goal of this church facility is to attract Israeli Jews. We're waiting for three stories of worshipers to come in here. Mm. It's all by faith because we asked God that the building right in the center of, our, of the whole Aliyah Return Center, all there would be a house of prayer. And it just made so much sense that with all that's going on with so many of the normal Israelis from different walks of life that are in this place, that if there was a worship center mm -hmm. in this place, that they would all get exposed to it. They would be exposed to the presence of the Lord without anybody having to say anything to them. Everything that's going on here, even if you notice most of the people here are not believers, but the believers are behind and running the whole charity here. Soon we'll develop the dining hall. And lastly, I'll show you this, Rania. Mm -hmm. As I over here is two houses for immigrants to stay. You see? Mm. This is families. These are unmarried, single people who made Alia from Belarus, mm. from Moscow, from many places. Return Ministries, of course, posts a disclaimer on its website regarding its missionary intent. Its actions, however, speak otherwise. Take, for instance, another Jewish agency facility, the Nitsana Youth Village. Return Ministry delegations make an effort to visit Nitsana. Their newsletter reports on an Argentine immigrant, an Ola, whom they helped bring to faith in Christianity. They met this immigrant in the synagogue of the Nitsana Youth Village, where she described for them her conversion to faith in Christ. Why then does the Jewish agency put them in charge of soldiers and new immigrants at Bikat Kanarot? Over here, we fixed this building up for Jewish agency representatives to come. Mm -hmm. There's one guy and he comes there and he's like a liaison to the Jewish agency, the largest Aliyah organization in the planet Earth. Mm -hmm. And uh, so they are actually the ones who send us the immigrants to take care of and send us the lone soldiers, the agricultural school people. Mm -hmm. And it doesn't stop there. Here, Mailspin's brother Moshe explains how they plan to set up a camping facility for young Israelis where they can proselytize them as well. We'll set up a, uh, a place for Israelis to come and uh, rest and camp while they're hiking the trail. And it'll be a great place to meet and talk about the Lord and all that stuff. So. In defense of this bizarre partnership, one could argue that Return Ministries raises funds and supports Israel. Most missionaries do. And well, can we turn down money and support? Yes, we can and we must. There are some things Jews simply don't do, even for a handout. We cannot put the most impressionable young Israelis, soldiers, and new olim in the hands of missionaries with the blessing of the Jewish agency and, by extension, Jewish communities around the world.